Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I am going to be solving a loci question. Now, the thing about loci questions is, is that you can't solve them the way that I normally solve other questions. So I thought I'd have a over the head setup for you guys and we'll see how we can solve this question. So this I should mention is from October, November 2021, paper one, variant two. Okay, and if you're new here, so I'd suggest you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. And since exams are really close, I will try and post at least a video or two every day, inshallah. Okay, so now let's get straight to it. So it says here, the scale drawing shows a garden with two trees, P and Q. So P and Q over here are the two trees that the question has mentioned. The scale is one centimeter represents six meters. So that means whatever is one centimeter on paper is actually representing six meters. The garden has a path that is equidistant from P and Q. Okay, so we don't have that yet. Okay, we're gonna make that. And remember, whenever the question says equidistant from two points, what we make here is a perpendicular bisector. Okay, so I'll just write the short form of it. Perpendicular bisector is what we're gonna make over here. Okay, then it says using a straight edge and a compass only. Straight edge is basically a scale, compass right over here. You, uh, you now wants to plant a third tree in the garden that is nearer to Q than to P. Now what's gonna decide what region is nearer to Q than to P? Well, for that, we need to make a perpendicular bisector as I just suggested, okay. So what we're gonna do over here is, we're gonna make a perpendicular bisector for which how you keep your compass at the point, at one of the two points, okay, and you open it more than half, okay, so you don't really have to measure and then see what is more than half. You can just do an approximate length, okay. So this has to be more than half, so I'm gonna make an arc over here and an arc over here okay and then i'm going to repeat the process but this time my compass is going to be at the point q okay so make sure not to mess it up so one arc over here and one arc over here by the way a quick tip is that whenever you're setting up your compass make sure that your pointed side and the pencil they're both aligned so the way to do that is to just uh, let free uh, let your pencil free and uh, let it touch the desk or whatever it is and then tighten it so that way you can see that both of them are at the same level okay so once you've done that then what you do is you pick up your scale you join the two points where the arcs are intersecting like i am about to do so we have it over here and whenever you join them make sure that you extend them enough oops that was not supposed to happen but yeah make sure that you extend them enough so that they or at least inside the entire region that's mentioned in the question. Okay, then, so this is what's going to help us decide what region is nearer to Q than to P, okay, but we'll share that later. But next is, it says more than 18 meters from Q. Okay, so more than 18 meters. Now, if you remember, uh, initially the question gave us a scale and that said one centimeter represents six meters, okay? So 18 meters means so we have one centimeter, which is equal to six meters. 18 meters is gonna be equal to X, cross multiply. So you can work this out mentally that X is basically going to be equal to three centimeters. So that means, so over here we have a certain distance from one fixed point. So that means I'm gonna make a circle, but I don't need to make an entire circle because whatever tree that she's going to plant is going to be inside the garden. So that means I'm just gonna make an arc such that it covers this region. Now that arc has to be of radius three centimeter okay so there you go this is three centimeters measured all right the margin of error is although there is a there is an acceptable margin of error but you know let's not count on that so this is three centimeter now since it's three centimeter from q i'm going to position my compass at q and i'm going to make an arc such that it covers the entire region so there you go okay now this is the region uh, this is what is then what is now going to help us decide where exactly she's going to plant the third tree so the shading part i'm going to do it with a pen so that it's clear for you guys to see again i apologize for the bad lighting but you know uh, it is what it is so it says more nearer to q than to p so that means it has to be on this side of the perpendicular bisector the side that's nearer to q and then it also says more than 18 meters from Q. So that means it has to be outside this arc, but you can sort of say that above, right? This way, this way above the perpendicular bisector. So outside of the arc that we have made and above the perpendicular bisector could only be one region and it's this region. So this is the region that we are going to shade. In fact, if you read the question carefully, 
notice how it uses the word shape the regions that means the question is already trying to drop us a hint and telling us that yes there will be more than one region so there you go this is one question solved for you guys i hope you guys have understood this and now let's move to the next question okay so here's another question this is from may june 2021 paper one variant two it says over here use a ruler and compass only in this question so here's your compass and here's your ruler okay Construct the locus of points inside the quadrilateral PQRS that are six centimeters from S. Okay, so that shouldn't be difficult at all. So I'm gonna place my scale over here, open the compass up until six centimeters. So that's that. So there you go. This is six centimeter, is it? Yeah, six centimeter. Okay, and then I'm gonna place my compass, the pointed side at S and make an arc, which is of six centimeter. And I'm only gonna cover the part that's inside the quadrilateral and of course a bit outside of that but there's no need to make an entire circle okay so that's that equidistant from qp and qr so whenever it says equidistant from two fixed lines so what we draw over here is something called angle bisector okay and if you want to know how to draw an angle bisector i'll i have a video to that which i'll leave a link to in the description okay so how exactly do you draw an angle bisector? Well, you look for the common point. The common point is Q, okay? So just open your compass a moderate amount, okay? Uh, no need for it to be too small so that it becomes really difficult to work with and no need for it to be too um, large so that again, it becomes difficult to work with. So this seems like a fair bit. So I'm gonna make an arc over here and an arc over here, okay? Then I'm gonna place my compass at one of the two arcs that I've made, and I'm gonna make an arc directly in front of the point Q. Okay, so that's one arc here. Make sure not to get lost in between so many arcs, okay, and keep an eye on the arc that you've just made. Okay, so these two arcs are not intersecting, so that means, that doesn't mean we haven't done anything, we have done anything wrong, it's just that we need to extend one of the two arcs, okay. Once you've done that, then you complete your perpendic angle bisector, sorry, by joining point Q and the point where the two arcs are intersecting. And there you go, extend it so that it covers the entire quadrilateral or whatever shape it is that's in the question. Okay, then once that is done, it says here, shade the region inside quadrilateral PQRS containing points that are more than six centimeters from S. So that means it's that, that region is gonna be beyond this arc that I've made. Closer to QR than to QP. Okay, so closer to QR than to QP means that it's gonna be on this side of the angle bisector because this is the region that's closer to QR as compared to QP. So beyond the arc and closer to QR means that the region that I'm gonna shade, and it's singular over here by the way, it's not plural, is this region. Okay, so the reason, the only reason why I'm shading it uh, using a pen is so that it's clear in the video. In the, in the exam, I would suggest that you do it with a pencil only so that if, God forbid, you do it wrong, then you can always erase it and shade it again, okay? My apologies for the horrible shading, but you know, gets the job done. And yeah, that's about it. These are the two questions that I wanted to solve in this video. I'll make another video in which I'm gonna solve the questions that came in the other variant. So yeah, that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, bye-bye. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.